are just over two weeks away from the first day of school, if you can believe it. And if you haven't started that back to school shopping, like everything else, you may be spending more for those new supplies this year. That's right. And as Alex Carrion reports, those costs are up nearly 10% from previous years. Just like everything else these days, the cost of school supplies is going up. Some parents and teachers say they are having to make tough decisions on where to spend their money. Am I going to spend more money on just food we're eating or get school supplies and cut back on groceries? Each year, parents or guardians are given a list of school items to ensure their child is prepared for the upcoming year. But this year, the price tag looks a little different. Oh, the school supplies have gone up. The prices have gone up substantially. The nearly 10% rise in consumer price index has many parents and teachers worried if they can afford supplies this year. It's different now. It used to be where you can just um, set aside a certain amount of money and get your school supplies. Now you have to almost double the amount of money you need for school supplies. Teachers have a limited budget for school supplies, so this means some take on a second source of income. I have to work a second job, and so if I have to do it, other people are going to have to do that too. So it means taking on more hours at work, trying to pick up overtime if possible, more hours away from home, maybe a mom that doesn't work now needs a job, and that kind of thing. Both parents and teachers say they are cutting back on non-essential items and saving money even further ahead of time to prepare for this school year. Yeah, I mean, when inflation started going up, we started saving money earlier in the year uh, because I knew that if we waited until last minute, we wouldn't be able to afford all of it. So um, it's just kind of crazy how much more expensive everything is. The average household is expected to pay around $661 on school supplies this year per child, which is up 8% from last year. It's kind of scary to think about how we're going to be able to afford things as inflation keeps going up because it doesn't look like there's any end in sight to it, you know. Back to school shopping is now the second largest spending time for families behind the holidays. If you're able to just start saving a little bit now so that by the time school starts again, you have a little bit to pay for it because I'm sure it's going to be even more next year. If you're interested in saving a few bucks for back to school, one way is to go shopping on Tax Free Weekend, which takes place this Friday through Sunday. Alex Carrion, News Channel 6.